not saying, and I'm smart enough to know all the answers there, but I don't believe FDR made the situation better. I believe he made it worse. In fact, I, I think he prolonged the... He, 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 prolonged, got, he cut unemployment in half within three years. He prolonged, I believe he prolonged the problem. How? It went 10 years. The, the depression was 10 years, right. and, and people were suffering for 10 years. And uh, I believe that, you know, uh, I believe he was he acted well. But you know what got us out of the Great Depression? But, uh, well, the war. Some people yeah. say the war. Which which is an you enormous, know. it was the largest government stimulus program in the history of the United States. For the next war so we can have government stimulus well, that's, and, that's the thing. and whatnot. War, war is a very inefficient form of government stimulus because we built all this stuff here in the United States. And then we shipped it over to Germany and we bombed them with it. Right? And then we start giving it to our police departments and sheriff's offices all across the country. Right, right which is yeah. another point on which you and yeah. I agree. Yeah. But, but my point is that... The, the war was a, a an inefficient stimulus, but it was a massive stimulus. And then when the war was over, Frank uh, Dwight Eisenhower came along and said, "Okay, we're we're at 128 percent of GDP." Of, but in but terms it's of almost debt. like Let's you're saying, the debt if we could just get more bureaucrats in America, we're going to be a lot safer, a lot better off. And and uh, you and I, have when did I say said, that? Well, you seem to support the bureaucrats uh, regulating America, and and we're. Saving the environment and we're if, saving well, jobs. If, if you want to, if you want to define you know, things, yeah, I, I would rather yeah. know that the air that I breathe when I walk out here is not full of acetone like it was 60 years ago. Why would you trust government to take care of that for you? Because they, they have, represent the, me. The FDA lets bad stuff through all the time. We have all the opiate drugs on on the legal market. We're nothing, done, nothing we're, compared we're, to countries where there's no FDA like Somalia. Uh, uh, nothing well, like it. You know, I've been in India. You can walk into a pharmacy and say. You know, I'll take this, this, or this. So now you're comparing us to third world countries like that. Well, we're that's the direction we're yeah. moving. That's the direction yeah. you want to take us, no, in my opinion. I want freedom. I want government to do the... How can you uh, be free if you're, you're hungry? To principles. How can you be we, free if you're hungry? You think government bureaucracy uh, created such a system in America that made us so great and the, the most powerful and, and the we're most not abundant anymore. country in the we world? We are not anymore, Richard. But, but I blame... The progressive movement in this country the, for the that. democratic it's socialist countries have, have blown right past it's us. It's a bureaucratic nightmare out there, and you want more of it. And I, I, that's it's what a, I find astonishing. You want a bureaucratic you. nightmare? You know, talk to anybody in any large corporation in America, and they they pretty much control this country now. There you've got. Bureaucratic but you're blaming nightmares. corporations, and and I blame the the bureaucracies with the corporations, and and it's it's just ridiculous for us to to look at the horrible things happening in this country and say. Oh yeah, man. Uh, we need more government well, regulation. Let me let me give you my my pitch. And, and whether you, you, and you whether you like it or not, okay. those government regulations, especially on the Second Amendment, are illegal. Well, that's 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 another issue too. But but you know, back to back to this this kind of core principle. Franklin Roosevelt said, "A necessitous man is not a free man. That you're not free if you're hungry. You're not free if you're homeless. And you're not free if you don't have a job. Mm -hmm. And you're not. And I would add to that, you're not free if you don't have health care. Right. Because you are vulnerable to things that." Frankly, you shouldn't be vulnerable to. And those countries that provide those things or make sure that everybody has those things with or without functioning capitalism are happier, healthier, they live longer. What's wrong with that? But How? for you to equate freedom with a product that you buy down at a store or you buy, you call an insurance company. Yes, you did. You said you're not free if you don't have health insurance. No, and no, so I said if you don't have health care, there's a big health difference. Care. Well, health I, would, care. I would be very happy to get rid of all the health insurance companies. Okay, well... You know, Medicare runs on a 2% uh, overhead. Uh, you got these big health insurance companies, are, they're skimming 20, 25, 30% off the top. Yeah, That's and, and another thing, too, that, that you should, should be, be the commons. You and every progressive should be so incensed by the astronomical rise of the federal budget. I mean, uh, look oh, at yeah, the federal Bush budget. Bush did. Look I mean, at the federal yeah. budget. What, it, three but, trillion dollars for wars? Yeah. You know, another yeah. trillion dollars from the, from the, from and the banks Obama crashing the And Obama said that was irresponsible and unpatriotic, and he gets away with doubling that. The, and and the, tripling the national, The national, uh, the deficit, the annual deficit right now is one-third of what it was when Obama came into office. One-third. Well, you're talking about... radically reduced... You're talking about one statistical part of all that, well, and the I'll, I'll national debt if, if you want to get partisan, is 18 every, trillion. I'm not partisan. Every, I don't care. I don't like either one of them. Okay. Bush was a lousy president, and... All Obama is doing it is is doubling down on it. That's see, all he has done as president. That, that and the liberals is, just bow to him. Oh, he's so wonderful. And, I, I and frankly don't care nothing. about the national debt. He's nothing. The national debt is private savings. That's not the problem. The problem is that last month we had a $51 billion trade deficit. For every billion dollars in trade deficit, you lose 10,000 American jobs. 
We have a trade right. policy. The reason that our cities are, are falling apart, the reason why Baltimore is so bad, it, they, they used to be a thriving manufacturing center. All mm -hmm. that stuff that they used to make there, which was most, you know, a tax that rules run that, that town do completely not, and do not define these trade policies. These trade policies came out of Reaganism. This idea of doing away with the tariffs. Government got Alexander bigger under Hamilton Reagan. And George you see, Bush he was he place. was anti-government. Government got bigger, and he did not cut where he could have. Like, the, especially the Department of Energy that was started by Car Carter. That's the bomb. What a joke! What a joke! Wait, you want to put it under DOD? I mean, the DOD. I don't want it at all. It's, it, it has failed in every aspect that it was supposed to achieve. Well, and, and we have so, a nuclear arsenal. So I mean, we want a whole the bunch DOD more. Is, Department of Energy. Department of Energy. No, it was supposed to get us off OPEC oil. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more with Sheriff Richard Mack and your calls. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Mm -hmm. So self-protecting that, I mean, we know that there are some bad cops. They're not the majority of cops. Mm -hmm. But where are, But the good cops aren't calling them out. And, you know, what, what's... Therein lies the problem. Yeah, I mean, what's the old saying? You know, all, all, that, all that is necessary for tyranny to succeed is that good men do nothing. Right. I mean... And I think what we have sometimes happening even worse now is good men doing the wrong thing. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's where you and I would still disagree on a lot of these views, the, these political views and constitutional views uh, and our foundational views here. And none of my views, I believe, are mine. I, I studied what the Founding Fathers said and did and what they intended, what they went through, the historical aspects of the Revolutionary War. But they held and, and, slaves. I mean, there wasn't a time but for that us to have our own minds. But, but that doesn't destroy everything else they did. And some of them didn't. And some of them really... Uh, but you're quoting... Uh, you know, Jefferson's but, saying every 20 years we should reboot the country. Well, I, I, I know he's made some mistakes, and I don't agree with that statement. I, I've never promoted violence, ever. Well, ever. He, wasn't, he wasn't either. He that was sounds saying, violent. No, he was talking about rewriting the Constitution. But they did participate in a Revolutionary War, and it yes. was violent. Yes. Yeah, and right. they risked their lives yeah. to stand for freedom. To create this it, government. To create socialism, according to, to you. To, no, yeah, absolutely. It was not, no way. There was not to create another socialistic country. Well, you know, let's establish another, funny another wonderful, libraries. great democracy. You will not find the word democracy in any of our foundational documents. And, uh, and actually, well, yeah, our no, foundational documents, no. no. Um, and so, the, the, but the point with the, the law enforcement is we have become a, a state of government. We believe that the government is always right, and the police are trained to protect government. And they're out there writing tickets, a part of this legalized uh, legalized plunder that Bastiat talks about in the law. And Bastiat really had it right in a lot of, so many ways. And socialism, he dis described as legalized plunder. Well, and so if you're we talking about Soviet entire, socialism, I agree with you. Well, if you're talking about Norwegian socialism. I'm talking about socialism, period. And, no, and the, socialism becomes the king, and it controls everything, and it owns everything. And no, my property communism. is there. That's not well, socialism. But they're close sisters. No, they're, they're, they're very they're, close sisters. They're really not. And, I mean, the Soviet Union used the word socialism just for the exact same reason that Hitler used the word socialism, because back then it was actually a positive word. People wanted socialism. People, well, you know, uh, socialism. The social security is socialism. Do you think we should not have social security? I would rather have my money back, and I would love to sue the federal government. Give me back all my social security. Let me invest it on my own. I will not ask for another dime. How do you know? It's that my money, and they and they have totally forty seven percent of America. No, forty nine percent of Americans. Social have security no is broke, savings. Tom, and you still want to trust the government that is breaking that? Social security is broke. They have two and a half trillion dollars. In ask them where trust my, Ask them where the gold in uh, Fort Knox is. These same crooks, well, not Social they, they can't even balance their own budgets, and you want them to uh, handle my own uh, retirement? Social Security has I do never not want these paycheck. crooks in Washington to handle my money. Okay, so, That's mine. so, so uh, little dispute about this. these numbers. Yeah. The average person who, in their 20s, buys, puts money into a 401k, by the time they retire, has spent over $100,000 in fees for managing that 401k. Not to mention yeah. the fact that if the stock market crashes, I don't screwed. need these crooks in Washington controlling my Social Security. Uh, so you'd rather have the crooks on Wall Street uh, doing uh, it? If I, choose those to are your invest, choices. if I choose to invest in a company, that's my choice. I can find a good company but or you, I can go with the crooks. you can't do it without Wall Street. But, but Wall you can't Street, stock directly Wall Street survives because of the Clintons and the Obamas and the McCains and the other Republicans on both sides. They both played it. And Obama was going to straighten it out. What a bunch of baloney. I mean, I, there I could get to cussing because he has changed nothing on Wall so Street. You want, he has made it worse. You, so you want so, government regulation of Wall Street? 
No, no, I want government to leave me alone. Okay, but if they leave okay. Wall Street alone, Wall Street is going to go out of its way to screw you. Well, their their laws, their their who protects us from title, the big guys? There's some that I'm not totally against. Okay, I'm not because monopoly laws are there to protect us, and I agree with those. But also the laws on immigration are there to protect us also, and Obama makes a joke of those. Well, he does not follow the law. I would go back and to Reagan. There was another man. Yeah, Reagan did not follow the law either. And, and Obama had his administration running guns down to Mexico called Fast and Furious, and what did he do? He declared executive privilege to get out from underneath the investigation. Yeah, it was a program that was started under the Bush He's administration, a crook, by the way. And, and so are the effort. others in Washington. They're all a bunch of crooks, and including getting away with murder. Do you know how many, do you know how many uh, Mexicans were killed with those guns? I don't. In the several hundred. And then Brian Terry, a, a Border Patrol agent, is also killed. Did the Obama administration come out? and help that family in. And no, they stonewalled the entire investigation. That family still doesn't have answers. And you want to talk about all the other crimes committed? Oh my goodness, it goes on and on. Yet we continue to say, yes, please run all these other programs because we totally trust you. God, doesn't make sense. Okay, so my original question, who protects us from the big guys if we, are, if we the people, decide to give up our power mm -hmm. to define the rules of commerce, which is one of the principal roles of government, in fact, you know, the Commerce Clause is in the Constitution, your Constitution right. scholar. Right, and, and that even stretch way out of if, the force. If we give up our power, we, the government, mm -hmm. if we give up our power to regulate commerce, who protects us from predatory banks? Who protects us from, from, from uh, you know, shills who would sell us we drugs get rid of, us? We get rid of all these banks that are uh, shills for the IRS and for the Federal Reserve, and, and we, we have an government? honest money system. We have an honest money system that our government, our government is totally corrupted. And, so you and, want to go and, back to gold? I would love gold and silver to be where they're supposed to be. So it, when it, the economy expands, where are you going to get the extra gold? But guess what? You just quoted the Constitution because it requires every state to use gold and silver. And that for it their be coins. That it be backed Actually, up for that. Actually, gold and silver that, are not the Constitution. That, yeah, afraid so. They are. Yeah. Uh, Section 10... Uh, every state is required to use gold and silver as standard for, for uh, Here, section, section 10, Article 1. Section 10. Show me, it's right there at the bottom. Article, right under your thumb. Uh, Anyhow, while you're doing anyway, that, but, let, me, but, let me bring some callers in here, okay? Shall we? Shall all we? right. Because we're, we're, uh, we're burning through time here pretty fast. Alan, in Glendale, California, you are on the air with, oh, yeah, and the with me and Sheriff, Sheriff Mack. Hello, Sheriff Mack. I was wondering, uh, take a company like Google. Uh, Sergey Brin and Larry Page, they were given National Science Fellowships to help uh, in, their, in their early infancy of that uh, uh, company. They worked on the Stanford Digital Library, and uh, it really helped them out create Google. Now, what, is, what do you think is the role of, say, a private-public partnership in terms of Google could be essential in helping create a great infrastructure in the United States? At what point... Let Google run with it. I don't care. But Google, no, his point is Google wouldn't exist if it wasn't for government you, booting you both really the guys think... who founded it and also government created the Internet, DARPAnet, remember? Uh, no. Um, it was... The, uh, the Al Gore was... said he did. <laughs> he, Another he signed, lie He actually co-authored the legislation that yeah. created DARPAnet, which yeah. is what created the Internet. So, so, so what's... So, to Alan's question, what's the appropriate... Or is there any appropriate role for government? Should we have just said, okay, we're not going to have an internet, we'll just wait until somebody does it? The constitutional role and its assignment in here? No Thank problem. You. It is to regulate uh, interstate commerce, not right. intra. That's a huge difference. Right. Sounds pretty close, but it's a huge difference. And they've overshot that and stretched it. Even my Supreme Court decision talks about that because they wanted to also force sheriffs to participate in gun control because it was part of their power according to the Commerce Clause. And that was shot down. So you don't want government to protect us from the paper mill down the street that's blowing poison out into the air. Do I have that right? I don't want government shutting down the industry in Oregon and Washington and Arizona like they if, have. If there's it's a paper mill for the, down the street all that's in the name of the us. environment. If there's a paper mill down the street that's poisoning us by putting poisons into our environment, yeah. how do we deal with that and, and without government? Only the big federal government can do something about that. How that we, is ridiculous Okay, notion. so how do we deal with that? Uh, the state government? and counties can, can stop that just as easy. So you're and, in favor of government, you're just not in favor of federal government. Well, 
You want there's to go back lot, the Articles of Confederation? A lot more, there's a lot more regulatory authority within the states and counties than there is with the federal government. And the federal government wants to control absolutely every facet of our lives. So in, 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 uh, in Texas, for example, a town, I think it was Belmont or something like that, just banned fracking. So what did the Republicans in the te Texas legislature do? They banned towns from banning fracking. Isn't that the exact opposite of what you're talking about? Well, uh, you know, for me to tell you all the ins and outs of fracking... And, no, I'm and talking the about they, they, they simply said you as a town cannot decide what you want happening in the, in the city limits of your town. That yeah. sounds to me like something you would oppose. Yeah, I would. Yeah, okay. Sheriff Mack will be right back with us. Stick around. That you actually have Sheriff Mack online. He said, Sheriff, you know, you're in the belly of the beast. You got the number one progressive talk show host. Uh, he has the sights in this chat room on you. I know who Tom is. Now one, of them, now one of them wants to hear what you have to say. Hello? Yeah, well, we're listening, Doug. Yeah, we're listening. Sounds great. Okay, here's my question. Here's my question. I, I, I took an oath to the Constitution four times during my military tenure. And I understand the Constitution as you understand it, not as Tom Hartman understands it. Now, here isn't progressivism tradition to the Constitution because they want to change the text of the Constitution without going through the Article 5 amendment process to change the intent. They just want 51% of the vote, and they want to be able to change the Constitution to anything they want it to mean. Doug, Doug, uh... <laughs> Doug is, uh, you know, one of our regular conservative uh, callers. I, 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 I don't recall ever having said that I would like to rewrite the Constitution, other than I would like to rewrite the way the Supreme Court rewrote the Constitution. But well, in any case, you I, and I agree that the Supreme Court gets it wrong a lot. Oh, and they always okay. have. I mean, it's, always. It's, it's just. Uh, and, and I mean, the separate but equal doctrine. I mean, yeah. they've, come on. They've been stealing power ever since 1803. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's 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 move on. Uh, Paul in Woodenville, Washington. Hey, Paul, you got a question for Sheriff Mack? Yeah, but first I, I want to say, uh, Sheriff, don't uh, don't give an attorney any retainer for that uh, suing for your Social Security money back. You know that case was solved in 1938 in Halvery versus Davis. Yeah, I, I I've been told that before, and uh, I would like to do it. Uh, just because I feel so strongly that it's my money and they act like it's theirs. Uh, and they even send me a little thing that shows how much money is in that account. But if I ever wanted to use it and pretend it was mine, uh, no, the, it would be, I would be stopped. Uh, I've sued the federal is, government before and won. I don't believe that one would be winnable. Yeah. It, it is your money to throw away. Uh, well, let me ask you this. Uh, <laughs> in terms of what the, in terms of the, uh, what the Constitution means, you said, uh, that the you, you believe in the Bill of Rights as it was originally intended, and I'm going to ask you, I want to investigate how you know what that means, given that Alexander Hamilton in Federalist Paper 84 did write that uh, what those rights mean will ultimately be determined by the courts. So what I'm going to ask you here is, what do you believe, this is my question, upon what principle do you believe the Constitution itself was founded? And I'd like to follow up. Well, uh, Madison also did a lot of the writing of the Federalist Papers and a lot more, and he was also considered the father of our Constitution, and he nailed one right on the head when he said we would lose more freedom to those in power by, by gradual and silent encroachments than by any other sudden usurpation. He said that, by and, the way, in and, the context and, of a quote that had to do with And war. that's where we are today. And Lincoln also warned us that uh, if we ever lost our freedom, we would never be, first he started out, we would never be destroyed by an outside enemy. Uh, and I will totally agree with that. Our, the greatest enemy is inside America. And uh, it's us. And it's our government. And it's over-regulation. And it's... Uh, it's I think it's, it's the Confederate States but, of America. No. <laughs> I really do. And, and, and their official voice, Fox so-called news. Paul, I'm sorry. We're, I, not, no time for the follow-up. We're, we're out of time here. Uh, but we'll be right, thank you for the call. We'll be right back. Let's see here, Free Speech TV callers. Okay, John, I beg your pardon? Hello, hello. Oh, oh that, that's right. Hey, John, you're on the air with Richard Mack and me. Question? Uh, well, I, I, I think I'm a little bit more on his side than yours. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> very, very quickly about the TPP, uh, the fact that the Republicans haven't done anything for the little guy, and they've blocked everything Obama's been doing. The fact 
that they're on board with this should tell you everything you need to know about it. And if Obama thinks he can make a, a fair trade policy, he should start off with NAFTA. That was one of his campaign promises, was he was going to fix NAFTA. Yeah, there you go. Uh, as far as your guests there, uh, I, I, I uh, assume that you're uh, in favor of returning to the enumerated powers in the Constitution, right? Well, w when I said uh, I support the Bill of Thank Rights you, as intended by our founders, I mean, you need to look at that. And the Second Amendment being completely destroyed, and it, it is, uh, again, that... Uh, the rights of the people shall not be infringed, and that means hinder. And yet we have a BATF that spends millions and millions of dollars to go after law-abiding citizens with guns. We arrest uh, Sheena Al Sheenan Allen uh, from Pennsylvania. She goes to, to jail, would have been spent three years in prison by required mandatory three-year sentence, has had her career destroyed. Uh, she's a black American. She's a wonderful person. She's a, uh, in the medical profession, a professional woman, uh, a single mother with two children, and she's facing jail and prison because of, of an out-of-control government that doesn't know and understand the intent of the Second Amendment. What did she do? And, and what did she do that got her in trouble? She had her concealed carry permit and her gun in her car. She went from Pennsylvania to New Jersey. Oh, she went And a state. Republican yeah. saved her, uh -huh. not a Democrat, not Jesse Jackson, not Al Sharpton. Don't say it's a reciprocal Al, agreements. No, no, uh, and no. So I don't. Okay. And so she gets arrested by a cop, and a cop who has sworn an oath to uphold and defend the Constitution, who wouldn't know the Constitution if it hit him in the head, never been trained in it. I guarantee you, he has not. Okay. He's supposed to be the guard of the Republic, the guard of freedom and liberty, and he arrests this woman, and yet no one, not the NAACP, there were no protests, to protect her, but people like me now are going to start a fundraiser for her. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Miriam Carey, who was shot and killed just a few blocks from here, nobody did anything for her. She should not have been killed. The police totally overreacted. It's against policy to be shooting at a car with a child in it. Oh, well, this they, is the woman who uh, drove into the White House, or, right? Or, or, yeah, or yeah. the Capitol. Yeah, the Capitol. And and uh, you, you, you know she got shot five times. That story vanished in 24 hours. I know. It was I know. incredible. And she was driving away from the cops when yeah. they killed her, shot yeah. her five times. Yeah. And so I don't understand the hypocrisy of all of that, but I do understand the intent of the uh, Bill of Rights, and it was to keep government out of our lives. And it's not happening, and it's because simply our leaders, especially in Washington, do not know or well, okay. care. Back to, back to my original question, because I still have not heard an answer to this. Okay. There's a paper mill down the street, or a, an oil refinery oh, yeah. down the street. And they're poisoning the and water they're poisoning or whatever. My air that yeah, I, I gave you an answer. Okay, what? We do not need the federal government out there regulating oh, that's right. you want the local a little government thing, a but little if, thing like that. What if it's a giant? And what if it's what if the what if it's the paper mill of a giant transnational corporation, and the local government does not have the resources to take them on? So what, if, what if they've got enough So lawyers? we pay, all of us pay for a huge bureaucracy to be established in Washington, D.C. to take care of it for well, us? I think that's what we We don't done. need to waste that money, Tom. No, ExxonMobil made, $40, the money there. made $48 billion in profit. They can they could swamp any town, even any but, state in this country with lawyers. And, and, and let me answer all of this way. with go to a movie. Noble. It's out right now. Okay. And this was a lady, her, name's, her last name was Noble. I don't remember her first name. Okay. But she fought government in Asia, and uh, one of the countries was Mongolia, and she took care of all the displaced children. She had a dream and a crusade to go after and help but the when, people. When a These are people being destroyed when a corporation by corporations, that is harming by people. government, and she saved 700,000 children. Government didn't do it. This no. woman this on was her not crusade the did it. Government, was it. No, yeah. but, but it's still the same. It's still the same. People so help who other people. Who protects That's us? That's how we do it. Who protects us from from billionaires and big corporations? How about how about the huge corporations in the state? How about politicians who do their jobs? How about sheriffs who investigate those types of crimes and but go see, it's and only prosecute? A crime if there's a, if there's a big government law. No, 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 no. There, there's already. If you're poisoning people, who changed America on that? Aaron Brockovich. Yeah. She did that. It wasn't government. Government well, covered it up. Richard Nixon. 
government covered it up. And government is part of the problem, not the solution. And when Reagan said government isn't the solution, it is the problem, I totally agree with that. He came up with yeah. some, but he talked better than he did. Yeah. And all politicians do, and that's where we're at. And I just can't believe that someone is as smart as you are and as learned as you are and others that are... Great debating that, tactic. That yeah. keep, no, they keep <laughs> trusting these politicians. As long as they're progressive, no, please, then we're going to let them break the laws please, and they can do whatever they want. words in my mouth. Well, please do not I words I've heard you defense of Democrats that really... I trust Bernie Sanders. I, you know, I'll, hey, period. I mean, there's, there's a couple of good... If there's, Bernie there's good Sanders is running against Jeb Bush, yeah. I'll probably go with Bernie. But I, but I would probably go third party. But uh, yeah. you know, I would take. But if those were my two choices, I'll take Bernie. Yeah. Well, Jeb Bush is pretty toxic. I mean, in '98 uh, he was. Well, who's going to regulate his toxicity? I mean, come on. <laughs> we the people. That's the you whole would point. think we don't. Well, because the Supreme Court said and that the then, billionaires but, have louder voices than us, and that yeah, that's the law. But now. you know what? No, it's not because of the voices. It's because we have an ignorant populace that doesn't know and understand the Constitution or history and. Jefferson commented about that. If you expect yeah. to be ignorant and free, it's it, never going to happen. And it never has happened. And Jefferson it never said. has. Yes. Yeah, I, I agree That's with you. That's the greatest that. indictment that you and I do agree on. Right. And, and we have to figure out a way out of the, this infotainment media culture. Sheriff Richard Mack, uh, GoFundMe.com slash Help Sheriff Mack, and uh, CSPOA.org, as in Constitutional And we promise Sheriff's we will Peace force you to donate. You can get on <laughs> your own. There you go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not a tax. Sheriff Mack, thanks for dropping by. It's great to see you. Thanks for having me. We'll be back. I'll be back.